Hello everyone, welcome back to Shades of Radiology. Uh, today I am going to take a quick guide to EDIR examination. Uh, I have been getting a lot of calls regarding EDIR, uh, how to prepare for it, where to apply, whether EDIR is useful for us or not and how to prepare for it. So this short video will give you a lot of information regarding the EDIR examination. So what is EDIR? It's a diploma available to all radiologists certifying the holder that he has a knowledge and competency in line with the Europe ESR guidelines and according to European training curriculum of radiology. And it's always an additional qualification of excellence. And it is also a tool for standardization and accreditation of radiologists across European borders. This was the picture captured by me in the ECR conference 2019 Vienna. There was a booth arranged for EDR examination. All the information regarding the EDR was available at this booth. These are the few photographs in ECR 2019 Vienna. The reason why I have kept this is there is always a better opportunity to give EDR examination in Vienna because if you are giving a DR examination in Vienna, the ECR conference is completely free. The cost of ECR conference is completely waived off if you are giving a DR examination at Vienna. So there are a lot of benefits and along with that you can plan your trip with your family at Vienna. And one more important thing at ECR conference is a EDR question of the day. The EDR conducts three questions on each day during the conference and whoever is the winner will be getting a free EDR examination to give in the next year. So the eligibility criteria are the candidates must be in their fifth year of training and they should be active membership of their society that is IRA for Indians and they should be ESR full members or corresponding members or members in training during the year of examination. So either you can take a full membership or a corresponding member and the corresponding member is free of cost. You need not pay anything for that. You need to visit the ESR website, create a user ID and account in it by user ID and password and you need to upload few documents to become a corresponding member and within some one to two weeks you will be getting a mail that you have become a corresponding member. And the documents required are the proof of training and in cases where the training program is less than five years like in India for example a proof of experience of supervised staff radiologist is also required along with the three years of training and proof of active membership and your passport. How to prepare? This was the big question which I have been getting a lot of calls regarding this. So if you go to the EDR website in the European Board of Radiology, there is a tab EDR section. Once you click on that, you will get a lot of information on EDR. So it's huge one. So I am going to give a guide how to prepare for that. So once you are in the EDR section, there is there are a lot of tabs like this. Self-assessment test, new EDR app literature, websites related to examination study cases, sample exams and tutorials. So you can click on each of them to get through what are the sources available. And there is a webinars, few webinars are being conducted by Professor Dr. Cassidis. This was one of the example which I have given projected here a photograph of what he has conducted. And there are various categories regarding the preparation. You can click on each tab to get a lot of information. And one good thing there is that the EDR, the essential guide, a book has is being released by them, by the Springer, and it will be available probably as mentioned in their website is September 13th, 2019. And one more important thing is the EDR app, which is available both in Android as well as Apple. So you can download the app and you, you will see these columns once you download the app with once you're on in the application you get these four broad categories like self-assessment apply for examination blog and contact us and edr app and as well as 
even idea in the facebook messenger they are very prompt they reply within 24 hours i got a lot of queries lot of doubts clarified with the help of this idr messenger in facebook and few more resources are they do publish in their website as well as in the app like emergency flash cards this was an example of emergency flash card which was posted by them and one more important thing is dr pepe's diploma case book a lot of cases every week they post lot of cases and they give at the answer and explanation of it at the end of the week or in the next week and one more important resource which i found online was the 100 slides on edr by dr mohammad rast uh, i have gone through gone through this uh, ppt on slide share just before my examination it also helped me to some extent uh, because there is a lot of information regarding all the systems he has done a very good job so i suggest you to go through this powerpoint in slide share and the examination pattern there are three categories there is the multiple response questions short cases and core examination each part each category is 90 minutes of duration and three of them are computer based completely computer based and evaluation uh, a lot of people were asking me about uh, evaluation how is the scoring system is it a, is there a negative marking and all those things so if you go to website there is, everything is available the scoring system is little complex um, based on the categories and sub categories uh, if you have a look at multiple response questions there are four types among them like multiple choice questions multiple response questions multiple choice question you will have only one correct answer multiple response questions there are multiple answers and if you mark a wrong answer there is no negative marking it will be an incorrect answer that's it and they will calculate based on this formula and image annotation questions the labeled arrows will be available and you need to answer so the scoring is proportional and there are no penalties for incorrect answers again and abnormality locate location question uh, an image is displayed and the candidate has to indicate where the abnormality is so it should be either right or wrong so either 0 or 100% this is how the marks are awarded and coming to scoring and final uh, part of calculation is they have divided the part 1 including the mrqs that is the multiple response questions and short cases as part 1 and part 2 is the core examination score so these two parts <clears throat> they are considered and one important thing you should remember is the unsafe score what is this unsafe score in the core examination if your answer is going to be an error of observation or interpretation or management which is going to have a great impact on the patient <clears throat> your unsafe score will count as zero so that entire case is counted as zero so this is applies only for the core scoring that is the clinically oriented examination part and this was uh, my examination uh, result which was published uh, received my mail through them you can see the average score is marked in the red in each system and how v score in each system is being displayed here so this is how final results are displayed and will be receiving through mail and good thing is edi examination is being conducted in india from 2019 march and our ira and icra organizations have decided to give a diploma of icra whoever has given edi examination in india and thank you very much hope this video should help all of you regarding the edr examination and you can contact me through this mail id that is d r v e n k i m d r d at the rate of redifmail.com thank you and the most important thing is for more updates keep keep looking at the edr website and ebr website they might be changing the patterns and the theme of examination so keep looking at their website thank you very much and all the best